Let's take a look at the availability functionality that CheckCherry offers. So first, we'll go to booking limits and we'll take a, and let's set a business wide limit. So imagine um, you're a single operator and you only want to accept a single booking at a time. Um, that's as simple as entering a number one there and you're all set. Uh, you can also limit your availability to certain days of the week. So for instance, if you're, you only do, do weekend events, you can do that. And so let's turn off, um, we'll turn off these uh, weekdays. And now you'll only be able to accept bookings on Sunday, uh, Sunday and Saturday. Uh, you can also go in and say, you know, maybe you're able to take bookings after hours. Um, you can say certain hours and set your time to say nine to five or, um, or rather after 5 p.m. Um, or whatever works for you. Uh, we also have a setting to control how long before an event you can accept a new booking. So um, imagine somebody wants to book you for a wedding tomorrow. Um, that's probably not enough time. So you can go in here and say, you know, anywhere from a day to several weeks um, to control that. Once we uh, enter a number in here, we've also got a few more settings. So let's go ahead and click that option. and. Here, um, here we have an option for whether a booking blocks an entire day or just a scheduled time. So, um, so as an example, like as a if you're going to uh, to a wedding or to events, um, that's typically going to take most of your day to to uh, to go there and to manage it and everything. Um, whereas if um, you know people are coming to your studio or things like that, you might be able to um, to handle multiple bookings per day. Um, so if you want to go that route, just do uh, just the schedule time and then we have a drop down to control how long before between events that you want to allow. Um, so you might require a minimum of two hours between events. Um, and then once we're happy with our settings, we can click save. But let's, uh, let's assume that we want to take more than one booking at a time. So, um, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to set this back to every day of the week. And let's take a look at our packages. Typically, with photo booths, a lot of times you'll have um, only a limited number of each piece of hardware. So with the um, with the availability limits, you can set limits on um, on your packages and other things too. So let's say um, maybe we've got two of these booths, and one of these, and one of these. And if I click Show More Settings. That allows me to, um, to again see this option of whether a booking blocks an entire day or just the scheduled time. So by default, we'll just uh, choose whatever you, uh, we'll use whatever you chose up here. Um, but if, um, if you need to override that for certain packages, you can do so. Um, another way, thing you might want to do is perhaps all of the, um, perhaps all of your Packages in a package group use the same equipment. So, um, so in that case, I might want to set a limit of two uh, full service booths and you know two uh, self service booths. Or similarly, I can go up even higher and say, um, you know, I can only do two photo booths per day, and um, that will basically limit it to only two customers can book you at the same time. So. What happens if you, you know, have different, different numbers here? You know, we're, we've got a limit at the photo booth group level. We've got a limit at the photo booth level. We've got a limit at the service level. Um, and basically what we'll do is we'll check against each of them. So first we'll check, um, you know, does this person have three of the same, you know, are there three photo booth slim bookings today? Yes, you know, then we'll, we'll block that day off. Otherwise, uh, we'll go up here and check, okay, you know, is there a conflict here and is there a conflict here? So typically you would probably only want these, um, these max bookings to be set at a, at a, a single level, um, depending on what makes sense for your business. Let's go down and take a look at add-ons now. And so similar to the packages, you can set limits for your add-ons. And this will control um, whether they show up as an available choice. So for instance, if you've got, you know, one set of speakers um, or one, you know, lighting, uh, piece of lighting uh, equipment, then um, if I set a limit of three here, 
then that will make sure that only a single, um, I mean, only three of these get booked. Um, and let's go take a look at the add-ons page real quick. And keep in mind, some add-ons might have a quantity that the customer can choose. So this one currently is a maximum of one, but you know we could up that to 10. And now a customer is going to be allowed to enter um, how many of this item they want. And so we'll take that into account over here in, under, the, um, under the booking limits. So if customer A chooses, you know, if I've got a limit of 15 and customer A chooses 10 of these, and customer B comes along, um, they can only get a maximum of five now. Now let's take a look at our backdrops. Um, and backdrops work very similarly. You know, you can set how many of each backdrop you have. So if you've got a few more of something, you can, um, you can do that. But otherwise, um, you know, if you've just got one of each backdrop, you can set that limit now. Now let's take a look at some more complicated cases. So Check Cherry supports what we call inventory bundles. And inventory bundles, um, they basically allow you to handle those more complicated cases. So let's imagine um, over in our add-ons that we've got, let's create a, a photo booth add-on. So I've got, say, one booth in my business. Um, Um, I only allow customers to book a single one, um, you know, whatever that costs, $100. Um, and let's close this and go back to our, uh, our availability. And let's go to our booking bundle and let's add a new item. So with booking bundles, um, you can kind of, you can handle those more complicated cases. So if you've just have, um, you know, if you have, a single photo booth. Now I can check all the packages and add-ons that contain that photo booth. So as an example, um, each of these uses one photo booth. Uh, similarly, this uses a photo booth, but none of my DJ packages use that photo booth. But I might offer a photo booth add-on for, for the DJ packages. And so now I can check this and click Save and we'll show here on this page um, what is contained in this booking bundle. And so now when I go back over to my booking limits, I'll show all of the bundles that I have. So if I've just got one of these booths or two of these booths, I can click two there, hit save, and now that will make sure that across all of my packages, um, add-ons, and anything else that uses that photo booth, only a maximum of two will be um, allowed to be booked at the same time. Um, another common use for the bundles is um, two-sided backdrops. So um, we'll create a new item, and let's say we had a red in, uh, backdrop with a red front and a white background. So I could create a red-white backdrop, uh, select red and white, click Save, and now when I go to my booking limits, I can set a limit of one there. And so now what that means is that as soon as somebody chooses, um, books your red backdrop, the white backdrop will no longer be available. Um, and so that's great for, um, so the bundles are great for kind of keeping track of those more complicated cases. Whoops, let's go to, um, let's take a look at some of the other features we have here. So uh, sometimes it's a little, tricky trying to remember what you have in stock. Um, and so we have a, a test availability feature here. And so you can enter your day, your start and end time, and you can choose between your packages and see if you have any availability. And so um, if it's not available, we'll tell you why. So in this case, uh, this is in the past. And similarly for add-ons, um, I might choose to, um, let's select something in the future this time and Let's check availability and it'll tell us yes this date and time is available is available and so you can do that for any of your packages add-ons or backdrops um, now let's take a look at our blackout dates so blackout dates you can block off certain time and 
avoid um, avoid booking on certain dates. So imagine that um, you know maybe it's our anniversary, and so we want to keep that day open. So we might set that to um, you know maybe we're going on a vacation, and so we'll block off a whole week, and you can put a reason in there if you want. And now when I look at March, I've got that whole week blocked off, and um, and customers won't be allowed to uh, make any bookings during that period. Um, you can also just black out certain packages. So um, imagine for maybe for New Year's Eve, I only want to allow my high-end package. So um, so in this case, we're um, because we're blacking out. We want to black out everything except for um, say our platinum packages. So our corporate, it's kind of misnamed here, but say, uh, say we had a corporate platinum package. Um, and that's the only thing that we want to make available on that date. If we click save, um, then everything except that is going to be blacked out. And so customers um, won't book those cheaper packages on you. Um, you can also, on our calendar, you can also go in and see, um, see your blackout dates. So just hit the blackout dates button and we'll show that information in there too. So now let's take a look at our change policy. So with the change policy, you can set limits on um, how far in advance you ex you, uh, you're able to accept bookings. So for instance, um, if somebody tries to book a wedding tomorrow, that's probably not a great fit. So you can set, say, a one-week limit or um, you know whatever kind of makes sense for that. Um, you can also configure um, whether you allow your customers to make changes after the event is booked. So if we say no, customers won't be able to make any changes. But otherwise, they can go in and choose new add-ons or add extra lengths to their, to their event or that sort of thing. Um, and this will control how long before the event they can do it. So you probably don't want somebody making changes um, five minutes before the event, but um, you know, but maybe up to a week before or something like that, you might want to allow them to do so. Um, and then the last uh, feature I want to mention is um, is the overbook messages. So. Um, so whenever we, um, during the checkout process, when somebody hits one of your booking limits, we'll, uh, we'll show a fairly generic message there, but you can override that with something more custom. Um, you know, you might want to put your phone number in there and say, hey, we're fully booked, but give us a phone number or give us a call at this number or send us an email or that sort of thing. Uh, you can also override that for, for each of your services. So you might have a different message between your DJ events and your, um, you know, your photography events. And that's it for our overview of availability. We hope that makes it easier to prevent double bookings.